Good morning, dear students. Welcome to this uh, session on pre-stress conflict. We are talking about uh, loss of pre-stress. Uh, we have been calculating the uh, first uh, and foremost uh, loss of pre-stress is due to the elastic shortening of concrete. Uh, where the loss of stress is cal calculated on the basis of modular ratio uh, by simply multiplying the uh, modular ratio uh, with the you know, stress in concrete uh, at the level of steel. So this is what uh, we have been doing. Uh, so this is uh, just uh, on this uh, uh, basis of multiplying the modular ratio with uh, stress in concrete at the level of steel is the fundamental uh, uh, basis for uh, calculating the loss of pre stress and accordingly uh, the pre tensioning and the post tensioning uh, beams are being dealt for pre tensioning it is uh, simply uh, alpha into f is the loss of stress whereas for post tensioning uh, we must uh, make sure that whether the uh, tendons are being uh, tensioned uh, you know, simultaneously or successively. Simultaneous tensioning will have zero loss, uh, whereas a successive loss will have uh, loss of pre stress. Right? If uh, tendons are being tensioned one after the other. So, these are all the things which we have discussed in the last session and this uh, example also being discussed. Now, let us uh, talk about the uh, you know, curved tendons. The reason why the curved tendons are being uh, you know, given uh, special consideration is because the uh, stress value of the concrete at the level of steel is going to change say plus or minus m by i into y value which is uh, nothing but the location of uh, steel from cg of concrete is changing at every point say for example here you see uh, y value is different here y value is different y value is different y value is different so stress values are changing at each and every point in case of curved cables whereas straight cables you have a constant y value uh, throughout the you know, beam length whereas uh, the curved cables will have variable y values so that is the uh, problem with uh, curved cables. So, how do we uh, deal with this uh, uh, no, curved cable? So, in most bridge girders, the cables are curved with maximum eccentricity at the center of the span. And uh, in such cases, the loss of stress due to elastic deformation is estimated by considering average stress in concrete at the level of steel. So, you have to take the average of stress at support and stress at center. So get these two values and make the average of these two values that you have to use it for calculation of loss of stress. Okay. So for example, uh, if uh, in this example, uh, if uh, there are three parabolic cables, you see the three parabolic cables, one, two, three the stress distribution in concrete uh, at the level of cable 1 is shown in figure uh, when cable 2 is tensioned and for computing the loss of stress the average stress diagram is to be considered that i will show you and uh, similarly when cable 3 is tensioned there will be loss in 1 and 2 this is this we have discussed already so this is what I am talking about. So this is the stress at support that is P by A plus M by Z. I mean M by I into Y. Okay. Right. Where Y is uh, this distance. First cable if you see 
this is y value okay and uh, again you have to calculate stress at center and this is y value at center now in between the variable the variation of stress is parabola because uh, the y value is varying parabolically this parabolic variation so stress also varies because it is proportional to y stress is proportional to y the sigma value or f value okay is proportional to y so that's why the stress is parabolic now you have to take the average of these values so how do you take the average of these values is by you now simply uh, the average of these values will be two third value of you now this difference between support and center values so two third into this value will make you uh, to get the average stress from this and to that if you add this constant value that will be your uh, total stress you no know, equivalent stress i can say because it is not the exact value because you are averaging the values right so this is how we proceed for finding the loss of stress uh, in uh, no crude cables we'll see one example right so this is my Uh, like uh, say stress at support okay so the final stress that will be calculated like stress at support plus you no know, 2/3 of a difference uh, between uh, the center effort center minus effort support so this is the final value to uh, get the final stress and this stress multiplied by alpha will give you the loss value okay so that we will uh, see in this example so a post tensioned concrete beam 100 mm wide 300 mm deep spanning over 10 meters span is 10 meters is stressed by successive tensioning means tensioning the cables one after the other Uh, anchoring of three cables, one, two, three, respectively. The cross-sectional area of each cable is 200 mm square. Area of uh, cross-section of steel, A S. Steel is uh, 200 mm square. Okay. And the initial stress in the cable is 1200 newton per mm square. The modular ratio is given as six. The first cable is parabolic, with an eccentricity 50 mm below the centroidal axis at the center of the span, and 50 mm above the centroidal axis at the support section. Okay, so you know, if you draw the cable profiles, so first cable, you will see this is this uh, the central. Uh, cg of concrete so 50 mm above cg line at support okay 50 mm above 50 mm above the centroidal axis at support and at center 50 mm below okay and join by a parabola remaining half is also same 50 mm above 50 mm above 50 mm below this is how the cable is there first cable second cable is parabolic with zero at support eccentricity 50 mm at center okay so it starts with the zero here zero here and same 50 means it joins with this uh, value at center joins at center next the third cable is straight with 50 mm below centroidal axis so 50 below it is straight and joins with all this so all the cables will be at same point at center whereas they are different at support and at other locations so this is how the three cables are estimate the percentage loss of stress in each cable if they are successively tensioned and anchored okay 
right so when first cable is tensioned i said there won't be any loss in the uh, no pre stress value if the first cable uh, is tensioned so that you can see it here when cable 1 is tensioned and anchored no loss of stress due to elastic deformation of concrete because while tensioning itself the concrete will be compressed okay so once you know tensioning operation is done then we will be anchoring the cable then when cable 2 is tensioned and anchored the stress in cable 1 which is already done will be lost by some value that is what is lost due to elastic shunt okay so that we will calculate now so stress at support section so support uh, section we will have uh, p by a plus p e by i p e by i into y okay so p by a pre stressing force so calculate uh, pre stressing force from stress value so stress is 1200 multiplied by area 200 so 12 into 2 24 okay so this is 1200 into 200 uh, so many newtons that will be converted to kilonewton so 240 kilonewtons is the pre stressing force value cross sectional area of concrete so 100 by 300 is the cross section of the concrete okay so this is uh, 100 mm and uh, this is i mean uh, 300 mm okay so stress at uh, center is p by a that is 8 newton per mm square and uh, center of the stress at the center span p by a plus p into e by i into y where the uh, steel is there that is location of steel from cg of concrete this is i value bh cube by 12 that you have to calculate it from the cross section of concrete given bh cube by 12 okay so that is uh, now 10.7 so this is uh, stress at support section p by a and stress at center of this span is uh, 10.7 okay right so this is uh, now when cable 2 is tension now uh, stress at the level of now, cable 1 is given by stress at the level of cable 1 okay so average stress in concrete shall be calculated as i told you that p by a plus 2/3 of the difference between these two okay because uh, stress at support is uh, value is 8 stress at center is 10.7 and in between it is parabola as i told you that you have to you know, uh, split this into constant value and a parabolic variation so this remaining is 2.7 because total 10.7 minus 8 2.7 so 2/3 of 2.7 is the average value and plus 8 is constant anywhere so this this plus this average 2/3 of 2.7 that is the average stress in concrete uh, 9.8 newton per mm Now the loss of stress is simply alpha multiplied by the average stress. So this is the uh, stress loss, okay, uh, due to uh, tensioning of two in cable one. Cable one loss in cable one. Right. Similarly, going for uh, cable three tension. When cable three is tension, st uh, the stress distribution at the level of cable 1 and 2 uh, there will be loss in cable 1 and 2 stresses okay right let us see that so take cable 
uh, you are stressing cable 3 now okay so there are already cable 1 tensioned and anchored cable 2 tensioned and anchored okay right so now cable 3 is being tensioned cable 3 is straight cable right uh, stress at support right p by a okay cable 1 right uh, stress at support is uh, minus p into e into y by i okay why negative sign because you now cable 1 is above support if, if you see the support section see the support section in uh, cable 1 location of cable 1 so cable 1 is 50 mm above the you know, cross section so if the cable is above the center of the cross section right so top compression bottom tension will be there okay because of the uh, no pre-stressing force top compressive stress bottom tensile stress okay so that we will be calculating as minus okay stress at support as taken as minus p by a is plus value and similarly the uh, negative value is the reason for negative value is the cable is above the cg line okay right. that is why it is 5.3 newton per mm square now coming to the center section cable 1 at center cable 1 at center is below below the cg line so that is why top tension bottom compression okay right so p by a plus p by a plus p e into y by i <coughs> so this is 10.7 now the average stress is 5.3 plus two third of this 10.7 minus 5.3 the, the parabolic variation you, you always remember that the stress is varying parabolically okay so that uh, the average value shall be calculated based on the difference between these two so two third of 10.7 minus 5.3 is 5.3 that is this one then last is 6 into alpha into this average stress this one right coming to cable 2 okay cable 2 is having cable 2 is having the zero eccentricity at support and 50 mm at center that we have to take so as zero eccentricity is there so stress in concrete is p by a that is 8 and uh, center the cable is below 50 mm so p by a plus p into e into y by i that is 10.7 so average stress 8 plus 2 third of this 10.7 minus 8 that is 2.7 that is the uh, 9.8 okay so now uh, the last in uh, pre-stress is uh, alpha into uh, average stress value right now in now coming to total losses calculation so cable 1 will have twice the loss when cable 2 is tensioned there will be loss in cable 1 that is 58.8 this value okay loss in uh, stress in cable 1 when there is a cable 3 stressing there will be loss in uh, pre stress that is 53.4 okay so this is uh, total loss in pre stress is 112.2 okay got it now when cable 2 uh, when cable 3 is stressed only loss in cable 2 will be present that is this value okay 58.8 right so there will be when cable 2 is tensioning okay when cable 2 is tension cable 1 is having the loss of pre stress that is this much 58.8 
okay that is this value first value when cable 3 is tension cable 1 has got class that is 53.4 and that is this value so total is 112.2 when cable uh, 3 is tension there will be loss in both cable 1 and cable 2 that is why you have two values for cable 1 cable 2 is having only uh, one loss of stress okay that is 58 and for cable 3 there won't be any loss because that will be the last cable to tension and if you get it in terms of percentage it is simply 112.2 divided by 1200 1200 is the initial stress into 100 that will give you the percentage so 112.2 divided by 1200 into 100 that will be 9.4 similarly 58.8 divided by 1200 into 100 is 4.9 percent and this is 0 percent okay so depending on the how the cable is whether it is uh, straight cable or parabolic cable uh, if it is straight cable, you don't need to consider the average stress because whatever uh, the stress is available, it will be same throughout. Whereas, if the cable is parabolic, then you shall be taking the average value. That is two-third of the difference between the two points, like support and center. Okay, That is to be noted here. The major change between a straight cable and parabolic cable is now uh, taking the average uh, stress value is the only you know, uh, thing that is to be incorporated right uh, let us see the next uh, question also a simply supported concrete beam of uniform section is post tension by means of two cables both of which have a sensitivity of 100 mm below the centroid at mid span. The first cable is parabolic and is anchored at an sensitivity 100 above the centroidal uh, at each end. <coughs> okay. Second cable is straight and parallel to the line joining the supports. Okay. And if the cross sectional area of each cable is 100 mm square, concrete beam has sectional area. 2 into 10 power 4 mm square and radius of gyration 120 mm i value calculate the loss of stress in first cable when the second is tension to a stress of 1200 newton per mm square take the modular ratio neglect the friction okay so cross sectional area given and uh, i value given radius of gyration and uh, second moment of area I is now we will be calculating like uh, I is equal to square root of I by A. So if you want a moment of inertia, as we are not being given the size of the beam, size of the beam is not mentioned. So capital I is equal to moment of inertia is equal to small i square into capital A. This is a formula. <coughs> so cross sectional area of cross concrete is given 2 into 10 power 4 into i square i is 120 that is your capital I value. And pre-stressing force is like 1200 into cross section of steel is 100 mm square steel cross section 100 mm square. So that will be giving you the force, pre-stressing force. Now stress in concrete is like P by A plus or minus because if you draw the cross section of the beam, this is the centroidal section. Uh, at support it is 100 mm above and at center it is 100 mm below. Okay. Right. So the stress at support is uh, you know, minus value 
and stress at center is to be taken as plus p by a minus p e y by i same uh, no, eccentricity values 100 here 100 here and at center it should be plus so that's why uh, the both the steps have been combined here okay so if you uh, know deduct one from the other so it will be like uh, 6 minus 4.2 okay that is 1.8 at the end section uh, 10.2 at center section okay so that is uh, stress values <coughs> this is how the stress is varying this is like 1.8 and uh, no, total is 10.2 and the remaining value is 8.4 is 8.4 okay so 1.8 plus two third of now uh, this 8.4 difference value is average so this is the average stress 7.4 the last in uh, cable one is you know uh, six times the average value 7.4 that is 44.4 newton per mm square is the stress loss okay because you can see the first cable is parabolic and the second cable is straight parallel to line joining the circle as the first cable is parabolic we have gone for calculating the average stress by taking the parabolic uh, nature okay right uh, though the second cable is straight okay uh, but the loss of stress happened in parabolic uh, nature of cable okay first cable is parabolic like this okay so let me uh, draw it uh, in correct manner so like this and even uh, 100 lengths and the, whereas second cable is straight with 100 mm eccentricity constant throughout so while uh, tensioning the second cable when you are tensioning the second cable the concrete just you know, exaggerating so the tendon will be you know, reducing its uh, length so means strain is reduced so stress also reduces to maintain e value okay when the strain is reduced uh, no the, so capital e if uh, uh, strain is to be reduced stress also to be reduced in the similar manner so that e will be maintained okay so that's why you will have loss in pre stress okay so that uh, the first cable as it is parabolic you have to uh, know uh, get the average stress for getting loss of stress in cable one okay so that is how this is to be answered okay right so the curved cables to deal with uh, is just to you know get the average stress uh, between the support and the center by a simple relation, uh, two third of the difference between the two values. Okay, so that is about the loss of pre-stress due to elastic shortening of concrete. So you have uh, two major uh, cases like uh, pre-tensioning members and post-tensioning members. So when you have a pre-tensioning member, it is like simply alpha into uh, stress value, F value. But as post tensioning, you have to uh, be careful with uh, the uh, the way that uh, the cables are being tensioned, whether they are uh, uh, successive tensioning or simultaneous tensioning. So when they are uh, successive tensioning only, you have to you know, talk about the loss of crystals and even in uh, no successive tensioning uh, we uh, shall uh, talk about uh, whether the uh, no cable is straight or parabolic 
if the cable is straight you don't need to take uh, the average uh, stress only when the uh, stress is when only when the cable is parabolic uh, then only you have to take the average stress value okay right so practice all these problems uh, very well uh, and then the next session we will talk about the shrinkage loss loss due to uh, pre stress uh, due to shrinkage of concrete okay thank you Thank mm -hmm. you.